Hi, let's take a look at how we can create presentations uh, with blueprints. So if we go to interactions and this tab will appear once we activate interactions in our project and then let's go back up to the top menu and here we have presentations and we have one kind of blueprint and just drag it to the page and this will also copy all the required uh, resources like uh, CSS file in this example and let's uh, enable test clicks to test the presentation so what's the difference between a presentation and a slider slider uh, is moves in a in a scroll motion so we we kind of slide you know scroll through slider and presentation on another hand is just a group of slides that are then displayed one by one uh, with custom transitions between these uh, slides and like in this example they are all shown in the same space kind of on top of each other but that that's not even necessary you know we could create slide slide uh, presentation where the slides would be arranged in a different way and then we would iterate through these slides and animating the active slide as it becomes active and then also animating it as we transition to the next slide. So the simplest explanation of presentation is it's a bunch, it's a group of elements and we are iterating, we are going one by one through these elements and revealing the active one and then hiding the active one and revealing the next element. So if we take a look at the layout so we have here presentation and then we have presentation stage that's kind of element that contains then the presentation slides so we have one two three of them in this example and then we use the class pgia current to denote the current slide and this class is very important because it I will show you how it lets us move from one slide to the next and this is done up here on the top presentation element we define interactions that you know go to next slide previous first last init like initialize at start uh, so let's first take a look at this Okay, so what it does, it will clone pagination items, one for each slide. So we start with one, and then we create as many items as they are presentation slides, minus one, because one uh, item was already there. And then what is here? okay and down here we have on start we are playing the show let's make it bigger so we can see okay we are playing the show interaction on the current slide the current slide meaning the one with the class pgia current so that's the first slide by default you know you see here you know we have this class added to the first slide okay so then how do we go you know how does this uh, movement works you know from one slide to the next and let's take a look so first we have you know we we look for the slide which is current so that means we are looking for the slide with the PGIA current class and we play the height interaction on it. And then what we do, and this is like the, the most uh, 
you know, the heart of the presentation. We are looking for the next element. So this, this is kind of, it, this is not part of the CSS selectors. It's a special extension in Pinegrow. So what it means? It will look for the slide with this class and then take the next element. So basically it finds the next element after the slide with the class PageIA current. And this lets us move to the next slide. And then we call the show interaction on this next slide. So, okay, let's take a look at the show interaction. Here it is. So what happens? Let's make it bigger. So a couple of things. First of all, we will play activate pagination interaction. This will make this dot bigger. And then we also set the class PageIA current to this element. So now this element becomes the current element. And then we call the show content interaction that actually displays, reveals the content of this slide. And so why do we split these uh, interactions? We could just have one big timeline with, with, you know, with all of this. And the reason is that this helps us to maintain and customize the presentation much uh, more easily because we separate kind of the the framework, the mechanism of the presentation movement from the actual kind of content and custom animations that reveal this content. So we don't have to touch this in any way when we create custom interactions, custom presentations. We just need to, you know, modify, customize the show content and hide content interactions. And that's why they are orange. Um, to kind of so that stand out and tell us that okay this is the place to customize uh, with our custom animations and we can see here what what happens so we we just uh, display the slide itself and then with h2 and p you know we hide them and then we reveal them with stagger so they, they are revealed one by one and then we also have the image in the background we also hide the image and then we reveal it with this transform and then if we take a look at the hide content it it is similar so it will hide the slide itself but first it will use you know like the this the selector with all three kinds of elements and then stagger the animation that will hide all of them like one by one and if you remember in show we also called active activate pagination so what this will do this will look let's make this so we can we can uh, read what it does like the selector is the interesting part so it looks for pagination item that is like the end child and this is target.index1 that's a special value that and it will be like one based index of the target element in its parent so the first element will have the value of index 1, 1, and the second 2, the third 3, and so on. So this is used to map the slide to its pagination item. And then we just play current on that pagination item. And then the activate pagination is similar, but instead of playing current, we play minus current, which means that we play the current animation in reverse. So these two then, they, they keep this animation dots, like pagination dots in sync with the slider, the slide that is uh, currently shown in the presentation.
Okay, we can look at the like go to previews, it's similar, but instead of using the next uh, extension, it is using previews. And first, you see, I'll open it so you can see better. Here it, it's using first. So it will find the first element. Uh, it will look for these elements. It will find like three of them and it will take the first one. And the last will take the last one. And then we have controls like next and previous. So this show previous and click. It's very simple. You just place go to previous on the presentation element. And then next place go to next. And then we have pagination item which shows slide. And this one will will hide the current slide. And then it will find the slide that corresponds to the index of this pagination item and will play show animation on that slide. And this show animation will make that slide uh, active, the current slide. And some of these complex selectors are marked as element not found, So, but it doesn't mean that the element actually is not there or will not be there when the interaction is played. It just means that like at the moment the it can't be found. So for these complex selectors, um, this doesn't mean that there is any problem with them. And of course we can fully customize the layout of these presentations. So now, you know, we are using the, the grid, display grid, but we could do anything else, it doesn't matter. Um, we, we have free hands when it comes to styling, but important, things is, important thing is do not remove these classes from these elements. So even if you completely change the slide, you know, keep PGAI presentation slide class on this element because these classes are used to put all this internet to connect all these interactions uh, together. Um, but as far as styling is concerned, you you can style as much as you want. Um, and one thing probably that will happen is you will want to uh, rearrange the style sheet to put your custom style sheet style sheet. Um, after the presentation style sheet, so that you can override these styles. And again, as with sliders, we can also have different animations on different slides, and we don't have to duplicate all of this functionality. So if we want to have on the second slide, like a different transition, we just add the interaction and we just overwrite what well, you know what's what's special, what will be different. So let's in this case show content. The trigger is again no event, just define and then edit. So let's make something fun. So what could it be? So we have image and then we have this uh, P and H2. So let's kind of make the image uh, zoom in. Okay, first we have to show the, the actual um, slide. And then let's do a timeline with the image. Or we can first make the, the slide very small. And then as it 
becomes more visible, we will also enlarge it. And as this happens, let's do image H2 and P, we will like stagger, display them, set the opacity and stagger the animation. Okay, let's try. Let's hide the display helpers. So, okay, now this was the first slide, was default, and then the second. We also need to hide the the content first with the set. Okay, let's try again, go back. See? With this approach we just over overridden like the the reveal effect by just setting up the interaction that is actually different from the others and apply to many will copy all these different animations and interactions to this element but it will see that show content is already defined so it will not copy the show content from this uh, source um, interaction. So with presentations we might also need to customize like the timing and we can do this with go to next and previous so we just you know move this around to give enough time um, to the slides to reveal themselves and to hide themselves so this timing will depend on how long are the show content and hide content animations. If they are very short then we can also make this timing shorter but if they are long then we want to give them enough play uh, time so you know if this height is still running you know we might want to delay calling the show animation of the next slide. Presentation blueprint comes with a handy helper that lets us uh, edit slides. So keep the presentation element selected and then go to the properties panel and here we can check show all slides during editing and this shows all our slides and it doesn't affect how the interaction is played or only how it is displayed in PineGrow and then if we want to test it out in PineGrow uh, we can either you know just play it here and then we can see how the animations are played so we will add more examples in the future. I hope this overview was helpful and that you will create a lot of cool presentations uh, with this blueprint. Have fun! <laughs>